Okay, question number five then. Um, name the bond labelled X. Well, that's going to be uh, ester bond. Okay, state the type of reaction involved in the breakdown of uh, the monoglyceride. Well, that's going to be hydrolysis. So, in the space below, draw and name the products of the breakdown of the monoglyceride. Okay, so the first one would be uh, glycerol. Okay, that's going to have three carbons uh, to it. Um, you're going to have three OH groups there, and the rest will be hydrogen. Okay, so that's the glycerol. The next one is fatty acid. Okay, now in the diagram it shows the fatty acid uh, as a zigzag line. So that, that's going to be the hydrocarbon chain. So you can draw it like that because that's what the examiner has used. But you must put the carboxyl group or the carboxylic acid group in it. There you go. So that will get you two marks. Next, explain why triglycerides are not considered polymers. Um, the uh, the reason there is that um, glycerol and fatty acids. have different structures. Uh, with a polymer, uh, you must have the same structure um, within the, the molecule for it to be a polymer. Okay, so what type of fatty acid is oleic acid? Uh, that's going to be unsaturated. So that will get you one mark. Uh, give a reason for your answer. Well, it has carbon, carbon double bonds. Okay, or you could have said it's, um, hang on, that's wrong. Yeah, carbon, carbon double bonds. Uh, so that means there's less hydrogen in it. There you go. Apart from energy storage, state two functions of triglycerides in a mammal. We did this in the other question, really. Um, thermal insulation, electrical insulation. Um, you could have had waterproofing. Um, you could have had uh, protection of organs against uh, bumps, uh, buoyancy, so on. Okay, so. Um, that, I think, is the end of, yeah, that's the end of question five.